Hello ladies, um, this afternoon I was having a wee go at the technique that you see Jennifer McGuire doing called the split split card technique which basically is you making uh, two cards out of one piece of paper so I thought I'd have a go at using the lovely Healing Hugs, this big flower here it's the most beautiful flower ever when it prints out as you can see when it stamps out I mean there's so much intricate detail and the layers it just it's like it's been double stamped so I thought I'd go with that and I have given a choice I've used these leaves which stamped up beautifully but they're a wee bit small and I was afraid of it not being long enough to fill the page from it so I got the timeless tulips out and I used the leaf out of it and I just stamped them up this one these are in granny apple green and the color that I'm going with here is coastal cabana so I'll just give you a wee tip now if you have this set and you are stamping it out um, just be wary if you have a brand new um, I'll just do it on a scrap piece of paper here if you have a brand new ink pad or a fairly juicy ink pad you'll find that when you ink this kind of stamp up which is called um oh it's a nice name for it and i keep forgetting it no it doesn't even say on it but it, it looks like an artist like an artist has drawn this when you stamp it it looks like somebody has actually painted it can i remember the name of it no but when you're stamping it up you'll find that because this is really you can see it's so juicy still it's like it has been used a lot but it's still very juicy so when I stamp that it's going to um, look very bitty you can see you know like wee bubbles nearly whereas when I've stamped it here you can't see that and the secret to that is just simply ink up your flower same same inky um, ink pad and just get yourself a wee sponge dauber and keep them for different colours and just put your finger in and just gently take off a wee bit of that bubbliness and you just tap just gently gently you're not rubbing it at all just up and down no other way and you'll see the difference that it makes um, it's okay if your pad has been well used and not as bubbly as mine but this is just a wee tip to save you ruining the nice flower I know it takes a wee bit longer time and I'm being very gentle here because I don't want to remove the colour. I really want to see the gorgeous colour. But let's go with that and see if we're happy. You'll see it yourself when you're looking at your stamp if it's um, still very bubbly. And it's still a wee bit bubbly. And I preferred to go deeper but that's what I did for these. And it probably stamps nicer onto a piece of whisper white than me trying to do it with this here it is we'll go one more time and see what happens just work my way in round the flower and I know it works because I've done it only after doing this before I came on I just haven't taken enough of the bubbles off. I think that's hopefully that's okay. But trial and error, always do it on a scrap piece of paper if you're not happy. But that's much, much, much better, as you can see. Much better than the speckliness you got there. So do follow that wee tip. And then stamp yourself out if you're going to do have a wee go at this. What I did was stamp myself out uh, four. I think four is going to be enough. I have the extra one now if I need it. Get yourself a piece of card. Mine measures um, eight inches, I think. Yeah, eight inches because I have this card blank ready that I'm going to use for it. So I want one of the halves to fit this. And it needs to be uh, four inches wide. So we're actually going to set this up now and draw a line down the four inches. It's eight inches by five and a half. So we want to mark this at four inches, which is just about this line here. So I'm going to put a wee pencil mark. So organized, Patricia. One there. And we're just going to line this up. 
and you're just going to draw a light pencil mark down the center of your card and that's where you're going to build your card at either side of that and see what happens so we'll get our bits and pieces ready i have four flowers all together and i'm going to sort of stagger them so that one gets a wee bit more than the other each time so each of them is getting a good wee build out hopefully just keep playing around with it till you're happy let it come off the edge at the bottom there too but don't leave it too naked if you know what i mean you can use the leaves then to build it out now i've done the leaves in two different sections as i told you so i have four of these ones done and as i say i wasn't sure so i wanted to see what it was going to look like first so i might end up doing one at either side you have to sort of work out where you want them to be peeping out of it's one of those designs you just need to keep playing with i'm going to pause here and come back to you when right i think i'm happy enough with that side and then this side i actually have taken some of these leaves they're pretty long and you're tucking them in under anyway so if you didn't want them coming out that length chop them in half and you're going to get two for the price of one which is always good because you're just actually tucking them in there so there's some foliage coming out and if you wanted an extra length at the bottom then use some of the longer ones So I just sit sort of building around that way. So I think I'm fairly happy enough. So we're just going to stick these down now. So I'm just going to slide the leaves out fractionally. And we're going to start with our first. Sort of know the position that you leave them with. And then we're going to stick them down. And hope for the best. You're just wanting to keep your card central. That is your cutting line. I'm not going right to the edges. I want to leave to be able to slip my leaves under so it's not completely stuck. Scooch them about till you're happy. It's not as much getting stuck here with this one. So now we want to put our leaves in. And no matter what hangs off the top, you're going to be chopping that down, so don't worry about it. And just remember that you're putting a sentiment somewhere on this card, so you want to leave space for that. And the last one on this side. So it's all about your prep work. Get all this done first. And then have fun. It's a lovely technique. Uh, if you haven't ever been over to check Jennifer McGuire I do because she's a man of information she tries such great techniques now fortunately you don't have her stamps but it gives you ideas for your what what stamps you do have you know you can bunch that out and add more um, flowers even after you've cut it flowers or leaves whichever once you cut it down and you say oh i'm not overly happy with that then add some more to it you'll know better when that's cut in half how that looks for you this one's not going to go in as far as i'd like it i might just add another wee one there so it's worth your while doing plenty of stamping of the leaves 
Right, that is that done. So now we're going to pop it in and cut it. And we know our central line is at four, four inches. So just line it up to your four inch line. We'll have to come down a wee bit for our, I just go in and chop that off so that I can line this up nicely. Get rid of that excess glue. So that allows us to go right up to the top to the four inch line. Cut right through and there you have your two cards. Again, cut off the bottom of this one. Any excess, get rid of it. Same with this one. Now you could fill that all night if you wanted it to go sort of in a roundish way for you. I think we'll just use this one. That's going to fit there. And then you put your sentiments. So you could add extra leaves in a way. I could. I might be tempted. Or you could actually stamp them. But either way, they do make two lovely cards. And you can put that either way, you know turn it around and do it this way and put your sentiment so i'm just going to stick a get well soon sentiment on this one and again when you're inking this up it might just go black you know the versifying make it stand out more Get your scrap paper again. What did I do with it? And just line that up. Get well soon. So that you know what way keeps it. Yeah. So I know that this end is straight-ish for lining up the sentiment. Fingers crossed to get it straight. Now where would you put it? Hmm. I think I'll go here. And I think it's really makes a lovely striking card. It's really nice. And as I said, build up the leaves in a lighter green or whatever. Add more flowers over the top of your leaves and stick the leaves out more. Once you do that a couple of times, you'll get the feel for the design and know if you want to swerve it around the bottom or the top or whatever. So hope you enjoyed that and maybe give it a wee go and share your mix with us we'll all love to see you. bye